Hey guys, my name is Alicia Scott, and I made this video for Robert Sergeant Shriver Jr., also known as Sarge, because that's a really long name. <laughs> um, he was born in Westminster, Maryland, November 9th, 1915. Um, I didn't get much on, you know, his childhood, just that he was born in Maryland, but starting high school, he was pretty athletic. He played basketball, baseball, football. He was editor for the school newspaper. He also liked to be in or participate in debating clubs. So he was pretty active in high school. He graduated in 1934 and immediately went to Germany where he um, volunteered at the Experiment of International Living, uh, which is a nonprofit worldwide program that offers cross cultural education for high school students or people of all ages. Um, after that, he came back and went to Yale and uh, worked on his law degree and eventually got that in 1941, which was just in time, you know. World War II rolled around and he didn't really want to enlist at first, but he was like, no, you know, I need to serve my country. So he enlisted in the U.S. Navy and he was there for five years. Um, after that, he came back and he married Eunice Kennedy, who's... John F. Kennedy's sister. He met the Kennedys. He worked at a merchandise market, which they owned. And so he met him that way. And John F. Kennedy must have really liked him because he, uh, he hired Sarge as like his assistant. So during the presidency of John F. Kennedy, Sarge helped him out and actually founded the Peace Corps, which I did not know. And that's pretty cool because the Peace Corps is still around today and um, you know we go to third world countries to to help out there and that's what the Peace Corps is about. Um, after Kennedy's assassination, uh, he be Sarge became an assistant to Lyndon Johnson and um, then in 1972 he was chosen as George McGovern's vice presidential running mate. Um, and in 1976, Sarge was like, well, hey, you know, being president might be kind of cool. So he ran for president um, with the Democratic Party and did not make, was not elected president. Um, but that's not all. He, um, after his political life, he kind of, you know, slowed down a little bit and took some family time. But his wife, Eunice, um, she founded the Special Olympics, and Sarge helped her out with that, along with their oldest son. They had five kids, and he became president of the Special Olympics, um, where I have a quote of what he says about it. Da -da 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 -da. He wanted to transform the roots of violence and discrimination against people with intellectual disabilities. And the Special Olympics really helps out with that. I volunteered there before, and I'm a special education major. It really does make a difference, and they love it. Like, the athletes love it. So, I think it's a really cool thing. That, along with the Peace Corps, is pretty sweet. Um, after that, he kind of retired and went into his private life. But in 2003, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and um, slowly declined and um, then he passed away on January 18th, 2011. So, yeah.